hello so many of you know that color grading and skin tones are the most powerful things that i tend to use to make my images better when it comes to photoshop so in this video i'll share with you every single tip and technique that i use to color grade and achieve a good looking photo when it comes to photoshop so simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel in case you're watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel so in this i'll do I'll, i always tend to do the color grading of the skin tones and other secondary color grading after retouching and as you can see the image right now is well edited or retouched so after retouching the image create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e to create a, a copy from the merged layer so shift alternate control e shift option command e to create a stamp visible layer after retouching then i'm going to come right in photoshop and first of all come to select come to the subject so that i can select the edges of the subject the reason for this is because in order to paint color grading on the skin tone we want to be able to control the color so that it doesn't spill over to other unwanted areas of the image after selecting the subject come and create a new empty layer and change its blend mode from normal change it all the way down to color after that just come and get the normal brush tool and ensure for your settings soft round brush is selected the mode is normal opacity and flat 100 percent so for this step basically you're just going to sample a color on the model skin that we want the rest of her skin to look like so you can see the face is a little bit different from the rest of the body and we just want to create even and uniform skin color for our subject so just zoom in and look for that area that you want the rest of her skin to look like so hold on the option key on the keyboard and click on that area that you prefer option for mac alternate for windows and after sampling that color with this layer selected start painting the color over the image so you can see what we are having right now and you can see it is painting the color and the color is now looking nice and even all over the face initially we are having inconsistent colors in the model's face and right now when we start painting the color now looks nice and uniform or even in this case so I'll just paint on every area on the subject skin that i want to create even skin color or even skin tones and you can see right now the hand is the same color with the face so every single area we paint you're going to notice that it's going to be having a, the same color basically so i'm just going to paint like that on the lower part of the body so don't mind if the color is too much because we can come back and perfect the color grading later on so i'll quickly paint on the model skin just like this and you can see every single area we are painting is now having this nice and uniform skin color and we're not having any kind of color differences regarding uh, the skin tones of the subject so i'll quickly paint on the subject is skin like that come to the leg and also paint right there so just zoom in slightly by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard to slightly zoom in to paint on a very small area like this hand in this case so paint you can see by just painting or doing this tiny adjustment the skin tone or the skin color is now looking nice even and uniform so this is the trick i tend to use in case I don't have capture one with me so i just do this right in photoshop i know it may be a little bit time consuming but at the end of the day the results are going to be very good and amazing so once we're done painting on the areas that have skin tones you can see by just painting the skin now looks nice and it looks very uniform so in case you want to perfect the colors get the eraser tool and with the eraser tool mode set to brush opacity in the flat 100 percent you can now zoom in and you rub away extra colors that you have painted in case you have made a mistake during the skin tone color correction so i'll just show you this so just eliminate it from those areas so once you're done eliminating colors from areas that you are not intended to paint or areas that are not skin tone so i'm just going to press b for the brush and paint right there in this area that is displaying so once i'm done painting this color you can see 
part we have. So you can press Ctrl D or you can use Command D to deselect the active selection. So right now the skin now looks okay and it looks nice. So when you do this and the skin is not looking okay, just come to Adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Simply come to Master and click on Reds. So in case the skin is looking a little bit greenish, you can play around with the hue slider and move the slider towards the left hand side to introduce more reds. And in case the skin is looking too red, you can move it towards the green slider to eliminate the red. So for my case, I feel like the skin tone is okay. So in case it is too orange, ensure to come to the lightness and reduce on the lightness. And by the way, when the skin color is too much or intense, ensure to come to this layer for the skin tone color grading. And you simply drop down or reduce on the opacity. Then come to your hue and saturation, select the reds and simply come the lightness and you can reduce on the lightness to reduce on the oranges in the skin tone. So I'm just going to slightly reduce mine because I prefer the skin to look like this. That's why I'm just doing subtle and tiny adjustments. So once I'm done working on the skin and I'm comfortable with that, the next tool or technique that I would work on do onto this image just come to selective color and this is very magical because you can work on the colors in the image selectively so for example if we are to select the whites and you can see the white in the background is having a little bit of this kind of yellow tint so just come to the whites and come to where you see that color and simply play around with the slider so i'll just move this towards the left hand side to introducing more blues and reduce on the yellows and you can see by just doing this the image is now looking better than where we started then you can even come to the blacks in this case and you can play around or increase on the cyans just like this and simply come to your blacks and you can just slightly add or intensify on the blacks in the image so you can say before and after for just the selective color so depending on the colors that you want to manipulate in the image you can play around with selective color so after you have done that you can come and bring back the original color of the outfit in case you don't want color grading in a given area by coming and getting the brush tool and paint using a black brush in the areas that you want to subtract or eliminate color from so you can see i just want to remove the white color from the models cut in this area just like this and you can see this is going to introduce back the initial color that was meant to be on the model's cut like this so just look at these tiny adjustments and you can see how the image has been able uh, to be transformed in this case so i'm just going to paint quickly so right now the image looks nice and okay you can even push this further by simply adding skin glow or skin shine to the model skin by coming and simply coming to your curves adjustment layer and come click on this pointer move this towards your left hand side and stop at the point where by the highlights on the skin are overexposed and simply right click on this curves layer come to your blending options or blend if so come to blending options and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box right here in photoshop then make sure blend if you set to gray come to underlying layer and click on the shadow area so click and drag this towards the right hand side and take the effect from affecting the rest of the image and stop at that point whereby only the highlights on the skin are being affected by this effect so to blend the effect well or better into the skin hold down the option key on the keyboard alternate for windows and click on this and move this towards the right hand side and stop at that point whereby the effect is blending well into the skin click ok with this white layer mask selected press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert or hide the effect after hiding the effect you can now come and get the brush tool and make sure white is the top color in case you have any color that is not black and white press d on the keyboard you can click on the tiny swatches so i'm just going to paint using a white brush only on the highlights of the model skin to add a little bit of dimension and skin glow to the model skin and this is going to make the image even look better 
than where we started. So you can see before and after for the skin glow. So in case it's too much, come to opacity, reduce on the opacity so that it can look natural. So the last step for color grading that I tend to do is simply coming adjustments, create a hue and saturation adjustment layer, ensure master is selected this time around and come to saturation and take down the saturation to around negative 81 until when the image is close to black and white then press ctrl i to invert the color ctrl i for windows command i for mac to invert the color with the color inverted get the brush tool white as the top color and paint color in the white area of the eye so i'm just going to you can use the same technique for teeth whitening so i'm just going to paint only in the white area of the eye to whiten my subject is eyes. So by simply doing these simple adjustments, this is where we have been able to get the image. So let me just simply group the color grading and I show you what we have been able to achieve in this very short tutorial. So I'm just going to select all these layers, then press Command G to group the color grading. So let me show you the before and after. So this was the image after the skin retouching. And you can see the image after the color grading. You can see before, after, before, after. Look at how nice the skin tones are now looking nice and uniform by the end of this very process. So this is how I tend to color grade photos when it comes to Photoshop. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.